Next question is from Paula Angela. What's the quickest way to recover from soreness? Oh, God. You know what? I, I've tried everything um, in the past as a kid, especially, to because I thought that soreness yeah. There's was. There's so many products for this, too. Uh, I'll tell you what. There is nothing that compares to movement. There mm -hmm. is nothing that compares to movement yeah. to get the soreness to go away faster. Blood and flow. And to speed up recovery. So you could try, you know, cold therapy and an ice bath. You could try massage. You could try sauna. You could try all that stuff. Or you could stretch and do very light uh, resistance exercise, you know, trigger sessions and MAPS anabolic. That's part of where they come from was I noticed that when I was sore, no matter where I was sore, let's say it was my chest, and I go do some very light intensity push-ups throughout the day, not only did the soreness go away, but my recovery would be a lot yeah. faster. I'd be stronger the next time I work out. Yeah, I noticed the same things. But and I, I love rubber bands for that to do like these like real light pumping type exercises. You literally view it as like I'm pumping blood throughout where I feel like sore and like immobile. Like it, you start to regain, uh, you know, a bit of mobility and range of motion like almost immediately. And so you just kind of carry that and lightly go through these movements. Yeah. When your muscles contract, they literally squeeze blood blood out. And then when they relax, they allow blood in. And so the process of contracting and relaxing, which is what these reps are, is literally flooding your body, your, your muscles with nutrients, with recovery agents, with all the things that your body wants to send there anyway to recover. Now I used to, when I was younger, I thought the fastest way to recover was to not move. I thought, okay, if I work out and I'm really sore, what I need to do is kick my legs up on the couch, let my body heal. Like, don't move, don't cause any more yeah, damage, right. let it heal. The truth is, that's the worst possible thing you could do. In fact, you can, if you want, if you want to be an experiment, if you want to do an experiment on yourself, go do overreach in a workout. Go hammer mm -hmm. your legs super hard beyond what you normally would, and then for the rest of the week, lay in bed, and then go back to your workout, and you'll be weaker. You'll actually lose muscle and strength from doing that. Um, so movement, movement crushes everything. Well, I, I, it depends on how much, uh, you know, money we have or how, the access you have to what, what tools, right? So, I, I mean, I per because I have access to a lot of cool stuff, I mean, I have like a formula for this for myself. I'm really trying to maximize my training and recovery. Uh, I mean, I would, not, I would obviously train after training hard. Uh, I'm in the infrared sauna. I'm I'm uh, hydrated, so I'm drinking a lot of water. I'm well fed. While I'm in the infrared sauna, or right afterwards, I'm doing a good like stretching session, so like mobility or like really good deep stretch. Or you know, if I'm lazy, I've got Katrina doing like a deep tissue massage on me. Mm -hmm. And then the next day, I'm doing bouts of uh, mo mobility or trigger type sessions to facilitate recovery. Um, that formula for me, well, well fed, hydrated, infrared sauna, stretching and mobility, moving work, getting blood flow and fluid moving around, uh, I think will speed up recovery more than any supplement out on the market, right? Yeah, There's sure. all kinds of cool things out there for, you know, people touting BCAAs and uh, turmeric and all those things. Great. They have benefits. Sure. You could take that too, in addition to it, but those things that I just said, Stretching after a hard hard workout, infrared sauna, hydration, being well fed, and then not laying around the next day and moving those muscles mm -hmm. and getting them and yeah. getting them work, not training them hard again, getting them moving and getting blood pumping in like a trigger session. Yeah. That to me, that's the best formula. Well, I do find value if it's the it's like a swollen type of an issue too, like of getting elevation, like doing some Eldoas where I'm up against the wall, my legs are up, and I'm actually like you're still active though in those in those poses and stretches and squeezing the muscles, but um, you're allowing gravitational forces to kind of, you know, bring that fluid back in and, and you know, express it out.